Good day! I'm Mary Chris Frejas from BSBA for Black 2. My topic is about 40s and its risk response. Good risk management is not about taking any risk. It's about taking the risk for the right reasons. It's all about safeguarding assets while adding value. Risk control is the process by which an organization reduces the chances of a risk event, occurring or mitigates the consequences of such an event if it does. To manage risk, we use four main control options, and that's 40s, tolerate, terminate, treat, and transfer. As you can see, under the transfer is directive, under terminate, preventive, under tolerate, detective, and under treat is corrective. Now, our first is transferring risks. It can be accomplished through the use of various types of insurance or the payment of third parties willing to take the risk on the organization's behalf. Second is tolerating risks. It is a situation in which no steps are taken to mitigate or reduce a risk. This could be because it is prohibitively expensive or because the risks of impact are so low that they are deemed acceptable by the company. Even if these risks are tolerated, they should be monitored. Next, treating risks is a method of risk management that involves taking steps to reduce the likelihood of a risk occurring or to lessen the impact of a risk before it occurs. In addition, contingent measures can be developed to mitigate the impact of an event after it has occurred. Lastly, number four, terminating risk. Whenever possible, this is the approach to take. As it simply entails risk elimination. This can be accomplished by removing the risk from a process or practice that is inherently risky. If an item poses a risk and can be changed or removed without having a significant impact on the business, removing the risk should be prioritized over attempting to treat, tolerate, or transfer it. Okay, now let's proceed to directive, preventive, detective, and corrective. Directive control. Give direction. Things like policies are directive control. Next, detective control. Aim to identify a breach after the event. An example being a financial review or audit after activity has taken place. They will often lead to corrective action being taken. Preventive control. Act to nullify the root cause and thus prevent the event. These are often the strongest control. Common preventive controls include segregation of duties and IT passwords. Now, I'll give you an example of 40s using the risk matrix. Our example is risk matrix in 40s for physical stores. On the next slide, I will discuss these 40s with risk measures. Under the threat, stores closed temporarily during the lockdown as local government compliance. Risk measure. Compliance risk can be minimized by following the guidelines and prefer for alternatives. Number two, tolerate. Absence of co-workers or staff after the lockdown. Risk measures. Manage the risk by running the business with minimal setup and should be able to hire temporary staff. Number three, transfer. 
lack of operating costs due to less profit from sales. Risk measures mitigate the risk by selling their own products and set up an emergency fund. Number four, terminate. Out of stock due supply chain destructions. Risk measures mitigate the risk by procuring the stock in advance and maintain alternative suppliers. Risk management process may take extra effort and time to implement, but it saves a lot of time, money, and helps the business to achieve the objectives in a way the organization expects. Always remember that life is inherently risky. There is only one big risk you should avoid at all costs, and that is the risk of doing nothing. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. I'm